welcome back to my channel and thank you again for watching. I'm Mrs. Coates. This here is my Betta Sorority. It does work. Um, these are a few of my girls. Uh, this one I've had for the longest. She was my first female Betta. I've actually had her for months before I ever decided to start breeding Betta and before I knew enough about them that they should be in a sorority with other girls. Um, this little lady down here is my Koi Betta Perdita. I'm really excited about breeding her. I will be setting up, I already have their tank set up to breed um, today, so I will be uh, putting a heater in there, getting it to adequate, adequate temperature, and getting them introduced to each other today, her and Titan. I will show you him, he is gorgeous. Uh, this is Silver. Uh, this little lady and this little lady do not have names. If anyone has names for these two, go ahead and let me know. Um, leave a comment below and I will take it into consideration. Uh, this plant right here does have a name. Uh, his name is Sully. Hopefully you understand that. <laughs> uh, here's my um, community tank. Uh, having some issues. I'm Googling, doing some research, uh, watching probably your guys' videos um, to find out what exactly to do. I have just Comet, I have Rosie, I have Corydoras, an Aquatic Frog, uh, Mystery Snails, um, I think that's about it. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. Ba -da -ba -da! The Mystery Snail Egg Clutch. Awesome. I'm so excited about this, guys. Uh, hopefully, we'll be um, hatching sometime soon. It is softening up. So I've had it for, I don't know, maybe five or six days. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. Over here, this contraption is my first breeding setup uh, for the elephant ears. Uh, now, unfortunately, that has been put on hold uh, until uh, Fatima is better. Um, better. <laughs> oh, I'm not punny. I'm sorry, guys. I do try. Uh, I'm not great with the puns. This is my favorite fish that I currently have. His name is Phineas, like P.T. Barnum. Can't really get a good look right now. I'm sorry, I forgot to turn the light on before uh, filming this. Um, he is a purple elephant ear betta. He's supposed to be breeding. He's not. His girlfriend got sick, luckily, before I introduced them. But I would like to show you guys this contraption I have here. It is cat proof, basically. Um, it is a metal under sink organizer that has these separate things that you can move out so you can actually access the tank and then you put them on top of there like that and then when you have this butter of a cat over here as handsome as he is he can't get into the tank I don't want my breeding to be disturbed by somebody who is being a jerk um, this is my sick fish. He was actually supposed to be the star of my uh, community tank. He's been treated with a salt soak. Honestly, I have no idea if he's alive or dead right now. Um, I haven't poked him yet today. Um, but he's been this way for way too long. He's been this way for about four or five days before I found out how to do a salt soak. Um, I made videos on that. I treated him and Fatima two different ways. One with the the Epsom salt and one with kosher salt. Uh, they treat two different things. Uh, they're also being treated with almond leaves. Now this here is my shrimpy tank. Oh, there's one right there trying to get on video. You're a YouTube star guy. <laughs> um, and yeah, these are my uh, breeding shrimp. Uh, I will be breeding these to put them into the different tanks throughout my aquarium room. This here is not set up yet. It is um, a terrarium well, will be a terrarium it actually will be a vivarium i'm going to be setting up i'll be showing a video of that i have a few more things to pick up before that everything else in here is just stored in there to keep it out of reach of the cats um i have some medicine for ick i have a couple of hospice tanks set up just in case anybody else gets sick um i do suggest having these set up prior to because it helps to have an established tank with healthy water um, and as you can see, I made a cute little design on my uh, tank with uh, dry erase markers, uh, non-toxic. There, It is also on the other side of the glass, so the bearded dragon will never be in contact with it. Hopefully, we will be getting our bearded dragon soon. This here is going to be the star of my YouTube channel for the next couple of weeks. 
Um, this will be my Koi Vada breeding tank. I'm really excited about this. Um, guys, I'm going to be making a video on how to make your own tank divider. I spent money on that and after opening the GD box, I realized that it's basically nothing but a piece of clear plastic, which you can get um, in the office section at the freaking dollar store. And these things are basically part of the same thing. Um, this is also a divider for that, so they don't see each other. It's purple because that's who I am. And this over here, this little lady is my little sick girl, Fatima. I'm so sad because she has she has row. You can see more on the other side when she turns. Um, I did put in this little space scrubby thing. Um, I don't know if it'll help, but I think if I were an itchy fish, I might want something to scratch on. And I don't think that these river rocks are adequate for that. So I did get this um, at the dollar store, actually, a pack of two. It makes it only 50 cents. Uh, it is the same quality as the more expensive version that you get at any store in the cosmetic department. Go to the dollar store, people. All this stuff, these river rocks, a dollar. Now, those are like $15 at the freaking pet store. So we're back to the the sorority tank, so I'm going to apologize for taking you guys the crazy route. Oh, there's my new baby. She needs a name too, guys. Go ahead and comment below if you wanna get on on that in action. This here is my first beta tank. Well, not my first beta tank, but my original beta tank that I've had for many, 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 many years. Uh, this is BBB. Um, he is my baby boy I bought at Petco. I do not suggest this unless you know what you're doing. Um, yeah, so this will lead me to bah, 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 my prize fish. Here he is. Oh my goodness. He's so gorgeous guys. Just look at him. Oh, squeeze him. He's so gorgeous. He is so gorgeous. Him and Fatima are going in the breeding tank today. As soon as I get the heater set up in there and get the water adequate temperature and do some testing in the water, I will be putting them in and they will be meeting. So stay tuned for that. Uh, like, subscribe, and hit the notifications if you guys uh, wanna check that out. Um, here is my newest fish tank I'm too excited about. I got this from my brother and sister-in-laws, um, in-laws, uh, like there's like a litter of brother and sister-in-laws. Um, oh my gosh, guys, thank you for watching my videos. Um, I am new to this. I'm new to um, keeping fish correctly. Um, I've had fish my entire life, never correctly. Um, this tank came from, like I said, my brother-in-law. And I'm so excited about, especially this guy. Look how freaking awesome he is. Whoa. Yeah, so I need to set up. I'm going to be setting, trying to figure out a way to make him a little dark cave because this one is right in the middle of the tank. And these African cichlids are too excited to be in there themselves. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I'm doing in any of my projects, have any suggestions, uh, any questions, go ahead and comment below, send me a message. I have no idea if you can do that on YouTube. New to YouTube, about four days now. Um, so I have no way of editing videos. I don't know how to do any of that. I'm still learning uh, every day. So um, yeah, I mean, let me know your guys' experience, uh, what was helpful and useful to you. And um, like, subscribe, and come back to see all of my awesome stuff. And if you have any name suggestions for any of the critters that I have told you, actually all of these, this entire tank needs names. So guys, go ahead and comment down below and let me know your name suggestions. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like. Um, obviously the quality of the video, the lighting and the spinning around the room is no fun, but I'm super excited right now and I want you guys to be excited too. So thank you for watching and come back.